Hello, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and thank you all so much for your support in our Christmas packages. This program started four years ago. It was the Christmas of 2020 and we were desperately looking for some way to be a witness and have an outreach in our community. But our church is really small. The Kintlichi Church has two church members who come on Sabbath morning. And there's a few others that help to financially support, but nothing to be able to allow us to do anything that can really make a difference and an impact. We originally lived in Michigan. My husband was a pastor there. And one of our churches reached out to us and said, hey, we usually do Operation Christmas Child every single year. What would happen if we helped you guys this year? Could you get us a list of some kids' names that you work with there in the community? And could we sponsor those and send them Christmas packages? And I was like, that would be amazing. So our first year, we literally signed up 17 kids. They were the kids that we would go and pick up for our vacation Bible schools that different mission groups would come and put on for us. And so we had those first 17 kids. And then the next year, I'm like, well, there's, there's others. So I started knocking on doors in the community and signing kids up. I also reached out to some other reservation churches that I knew they could really use some help. And that second year we had, I think it was about 80 kids. And then our third year, we had about 110 kids. And this year we have all together probably about 150 kids, which is super awesome. So I'm just amazed at how God has led, how he's guided and provided. It started out with just a Google spreadsheet that we would go and fill out. And now I had a teenager help me build a website. And so we were able to get that up last year, got some kinks worked out and this year, it's been working beautifully. I wanted to share with you guys a few stories from the Christmas packages and how it's made a difference and an impact. I literally go door to door in the community and sign up kids. And that first year, some of the parents are like, eh, I don't know. But then the second year, they're like, oh yeah, this is really neat. And so they sign up their kids. When we have vacation Bible school during the year last year, year we had it in March and then in July and again in October we have different mission groups that come out I go back to those houses and invite those kids and every single time we have a vacation Bible school we get kids coming who we've been given Christmas packages to in the past and so it's been great it also has helped us to be able to get to know the kids in our community so we've been here almost five years and some of the older kids are getting older, but this is allowing us to be able to make those connections with the younger kids so that we can be able to have more connections with them and continue working with them all through the coming years, which is really neat. So basically, we're constantly getting new influx of kids because of this outreach. We also have started a Pathfinder group and that's been largely because of this connection. One boy, I went to his house to sign him up and I said, hey, you know, I remember you from last year. We did the Christmas packages. Do you remember me? And he said, oh yeah, I do. I said, you know, we have Pathfinders. Would you like to come join? And he said, yeah, I would. And he's been loving Pathfinders. It's that connection with these Christmas boxes that is making the difference. So I have just seen so many ways that God has used this ministry that you all have helped and been able to reach out to us and encouraged us and helped us to be able to make those connections in our community. One last story. We had last year a group from Oklahoma Academy who came out for a mission trip right around October when I was gonna go door to door and sign kids up. And I said, you know what, why don't you help me? So I took a group of like two or three students and we went out and started knocking on cold doors, some doors that I had never been to before. 
we come across this grandma and she signs up her grandkids for the Christmas packages. And then she starts talking to us about our church and she asks if we can have prayer with her. And so we have prayer with her. Nothing really happened. We gave them the Christmas packages, but nothing, you know, she didn't start coming to church or anything. We tried to reach out, but nothing really clicked. But then, just a month ago, I went to sign up her grandkids again. And I said, hey, how has it been going? Um, a couple of her grandkids had come to a VBS in October, and they really enjoyed it. And so I said, well, we're signing kids up again. And she said, hold on just a minute. And she ran into her house, and she came back, and she had these Bible study lessons. And I thought, oh, I wonder what church is doing Bible study lessons. And then she said, I listened to your Sunday morning radio program. And I went and signed up, and I'm halfway through the Bible study lessons. I have been reading my Bible every day, and I have been loving these lessons. And we were able to invite her to some craft classes that we were going to be having. And she's been coming, and she wants to start coming to church. And it's just, it's incredible. And it all started with these Christmas packages. So if you ever think, you know, what kind of a difference is this making? It's making a difference. It is. Your prayers for the children later on throughout the year, that's making a huge difference. We have noticed such a warmth in the community since starting this Christmas packages with the kids. They have become more open. They have become more connected with us. They have become more interested in religious things. And we're really trying to build and continue on. So we just want to thank you so much for your help and your support. And we look forward to more stories that are going to be coming because of your help. You all have a happy Sabbath. Bye-bye.